guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale of my <clears throat> Next Life as a Villainess. I'm sad because it's the last episode of season one, and you won't know what's going to possibly happen next when season two comes out next year, it's sad, I believe. Um, but hopefully everything ends nicely. <laughs> I mean, we ain't going to know until I start, but other than that, it's going to get started in three, two, Fine. Go. God, no opening today. Oh God. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you would have done it. Well, because he said he does hate her. Your mom. Oh my god, he's so cute. Um, okay. I was about to say. What?
Yeah, but there's always a price to pay with that. I knew that was going to happen. Of course. You gotta kill you so no one else knows. It always like that though. I mean, dang. I'm sorry, boo. I'm busy. Busy. <laughs> well, of course she can. I just got in them. Let her go. She's the only one who can be able to do this. Because darkness, darkness. <laughs> of course, because he wanted a ring. Mm -hmm. <sighs> That's finally over. But 
something's gonna happen in season two where something is gonna come back. I mean, come on now. Is coming. <laughs> Honestly, I think you'll be fine. That means she gonna come to see me. Oh my god. <laughs> with his stomach. Oh, but she is. She will. Yeah, because we're going the different route.
picture and I'm like, ah. Oh. Oh my god. If you would have told me the freaking Ronco and Kaede from I Don't Match with Cinderella Girls would have gotten together, <laughs> we would have looked at you like you were nuts. I mean, heck, they're both in Shield Hero, except Maria's VA plays a villain. <laughs> The reverse harm. Yeah, She made Our harm just got bigger. <laughs> My girl is so pretty.
That was good. It was <laughs> so good. I mean, honestly, final thoughts on the show. I loved it for what it was. It's such a damn good show. And I will honestly miss season one. But, I mean, I'm glad we're, you know, it was confirmed today that we got a second season. And I think it's supposed to come out next year, which I'm glad. Because I was assuming that if this show got a second season, we might have not would have seen it until, like, maybe 2022, possibly. But, I mean, hey, people still working on it, even with the pandemic going on. I mean, shoot, like, the ish that I've been thinking about with, like, some of the games I've been playing, I'm like, damn, they really worked on this while this is going on. I'm like, I mean, props to them. But so, this is such a cute anime, and I loved it so much. And it had, like, two of my favorite VAs in this show. So, I'm glad. I mean, one of them is my best girl in another series. Well, no, they're both my best girls in Idol Masher, but Kayene, who's Maria, she's my number one. And Katarina's VA, who is Ronko, she's my number four. While um, another one's like my five, because they're like my top five favorites. But this was still good. It makes me wonder what in the world is going to possibly happen in season two. But honestly, I want to read the book, but I think I'm going to wait so that I don't get spoiled on anything. Because I feel like somebody could just at me on Twitter and just be like, hey, there's a spoiler right there. But don't do that. <laughs> snake, oh my god. <laughs> it looks real, but that, no, that is real. <laughs> no, I'm not one with snakes. Like, if I see a snake, I'm like, mm mm, kill it. Um, <laughs> No, 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 no. I am not one with nature. Like, mm -mm. you may see me go out on a walk, but if I see something that is like coming over to me and might even attack me, I <laughs> <laughs> but still, this was such a good show, and I can't wait to see what in the world is in store for season two. Even though we gotta wait until next year, which I mean, in a way, it sucks, but at the same time, I mean, it's okay because it's gonna kind of go by like that, maybe. I'm not really 100% sure because it feels like with this year <clears throat> and with what's going on in the world today, it feels like it goes like really, really slow. But I mean, honestly, like spring anime, it went by too freaking quick. I was like, well, damn, we already done it. But I'm just sad. I mean, I could always rewatch it one day if I really feel like, you know, having feels and everything. But I don't think it'll be the same until like new episodes come in. It'll just be me reminiscing about the show and being like, damn, I need to just go ahead and just cry or be happy for a moment. But still, I'm glad Raphael, you know, is able to move on from this and I'm glad we'll be able to possibly see him a little bit more in season two. It's going to suck that Noel isn't really at school anymore because he's graduated, but there's going to probably be some moments where he is going to pop up in season two. But honestly, whatever is in store, I cannot wait to see it but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards really season one of my next life as villainous if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all sometime next year whenever it comes for the start of season two bye guys